Hello everyone, hope you are doing very well. In this video, I will demonstrate and explain about the new feature which is available on Deno 42 version which is March payment schedule for customer transaction or vendor transactions. So before I deep dive into this new feature, I would like to talk about what is payment schedule because this feature is on payment schedule. So before we see the feature demo, we I will explain what is payment schedule, right? So I have created a scenario in PowerPoint presentation. So I will just talk about it. <clears throat> so example, uh, you want to buy a phone, which is iPhone 16 Pro, right? We will go to a shop and the shopkeeper tells that the price for the iPhone 16 Pro is 1000 USD and as you that the organization or you don't have the budget to spend for this so you become unhappy upset right but at the same time you know the shopkeeper or the storekeeper comes up with a plan they have a plan that you if you don't have the budget you can still buy the iphone how by the payment schedule how the payment schedule looks like like it's an installment plan you are taking the iphone 16 pro to your home but you are not paying the full amount of 1000 USD. Instead, you came to an agreement with a shop that this 1000 USD, you will pay the money in five different installment, five different schedule. So that is basically the concept of payment schedule, right? So each and every month, like month one, you will pay 200 USD, month two, 200, month three, month four, and month five, 200. So this is like one of the basic example of payment schedule. I just wanted to explain what is payment schedule so then you become happy right because you're not going to spend thousand usd because you don't have budget or some limitation so you have an agreement with payment schedule so that is basically the payment schedule concept how this payment schedule is done and what is the new feature on top of the payment schedule now we will explain let's see in microsoft dynamics is it your finance and operation So now what we will do, we will create a same invoice for iPhone, right? We will go to invoice journal. Remember this in payment schedule is available in customer transaction and vendor transaction in both the places. So I'm just going to explain with the vendor transaction. So what we will do, I will create a simple vendor invoice uh, with the same amount. So I will select this vendor uh, invoice details today. So this is the invoice and thousand USD. And I will select uh, in expense. Maybe I don't have any uh, phone, mobile phone, or something. But I will say other mixed any other expenses. Okay. So now when I'm booking this invoice, it will be a full amount. But I need to add the payment schedule, right? So for Adding the payment schedule, we need to select the payment schedule from here. So this payment schedule master, the configuration is available under accounts payable module. Under payment setup, there is a payment schedule. So you can create your own payment schedule, the configuration of payment schedule like five months, right? So fixed quantity, months per payment per month, change one, number of payments five. So you can, you know, create your own payment schedule and then add it into the invoice. So I will go to invoice journal. I will select this. So now I will distribute this to the thousand as a payments in the payment schedule. So I will select five different ones, right? So now we will post it. After posting, we will see how this open transaction looking like in Microsoft Dynamics is your financial number. So now we have posted it, right? So if I go to voucher, I will still be able to see two vouchers. One is expense, one is uh, creditors. Remember, this is not an accrual concept. The, the expense you are actually recognizing when you are buying it, right? It's all about the how you are paying it. So there is no uh, no uh, uh, discrepancy or no difference or no change in the uh, expense, how you are booking it. Expense will be 1000 only. So now we will go to this vendor 
and we will see the transaction how the payment schedule has been distributed so this was a this was a vendor and this is the one five six point one one thousand usd so if we click on open details then you will see this thousand has been distributed to five different months with due date like 211 to 12 to 1 35 so in five different months exactly how we have seen how we have agreed as part of the payment schedule right and you can also see this one in open vendor invoice as well uh, if you just type the invoice number here 56 right so this one is our 56 if you see in the open vendor invoice there are five lines as per the payment schedule and if you go to this accounts payable uh, vendor payment journal you will also see the uh, payment lines are five different lines so this is the invoice this is the vendor right so, six point eleven right see so it's not thousand you want to pay you can select one and you can pay 200 so that's how the payment schedule works right? so these five lines are also will come on payment proposal as well same thing this is the concept of payment schedule but what is the new feature is all about where you can merge the payment schedule so assume if i go back to our ppt assume that after one on two installment you decide okay i will pay this rest of the 600 in month three so for that you need to merge it right so that is all about the new feature as of now once the payment schedule is created you cannot just merge it you need to pay as per the agreement but with the new feature what you can do you can merge it so what we will do we'll go to vendor we'll go to transactions we'll select this one so now how we will merge so select this transaction click on settlement click on settle transactions right so now you have this five six point one one so i will just select this so to merge it so example this one these two you need only to change it this three you will merge it in one line so it at ultimately it will be a 600 in one line so for that what you need to do you need to make one line as primary otherwise system won't be able to understand in which line this will be merged right so for this one i will select as mark as primary payment so once this is marked as primary payment then i will select these three lines and from the payment schedule right here i will select march payment schedule so once it is done you will see the third line has been merged from the last two lines so now it has been merged and in the third month you will be able to close this installment right it is like it is one type of for closing the installment you are merging it so now you have merged it right so if you go to open vendor invoice and if you select the same invoice so now you will see only three lines same thing if you go to vendor payment journal go to lines and if you want to select the transaction from settle transaction or payment proposal same same thing will happen 56.11 invoice now you see that only three lines that means the this one one two three four five has been the last three lines has been merged in the third line so that is all about the new feature which is merging the payment payment schedule in one line or as per your requirement so if this one i have shown i have demonstrated in accounts payable but you can do this this functionality is available in customer transaction payment schedule as well so that's it for this video i hope you have liked it you will be able to you know explain this to your organization or implementation project and it will help you it will help the organization so thanks for watching bye for now